Hello, are you stuck in the lockdown again? And you miss traveling to other countries, yes? Well, why not fake a whole round-the-world trip using buildings in Paris and then post it on April Fool's Day? The viewers will find it very funny. What? Okay, thank you, bye. Don't know who that was. And konnichiwa. It is April the 1st, 2021, and I'm in Japan. And this is one of the student halls of residence here at the international campus of the University of Japan. It was built in 1929 and designed by the architect Pierre Sardou. You don't sound very Japanese. Oh, I see. Anyway, it's my first time in Japan, and I would love to stay here for longer, but we've got a whole planet to get round, so on we go. And anyway, from here it's only a short hop over the Pacific Ocean to sunny Mexico. This is one of the student halls of residence at the international campus of the University of Mexico. And of course, one way that you can tell you're in Mexico is that all the buildings here have the word Mexico written on them in capital letters. And next up, it's a big one because we're going to cross the border into the US and visit one of the world's most famous sites, Lady Liberty herself. America's most American statue is, of course, French. She was designed and built back in Paris, and during that process they made a quarter-sized bronze model of her, which apparently ended up on an island somewhere in the middle of the River Seine. I should go and visit that when I get back. While we're here, there is a nearby tower that we can visit too, and it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Are you trying to get me thrown out of the country? Right, now it's time to head all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to see the beautiful Islamic architecture of the Great Mosque of... Morocco. It was completed in 1926 and was inspired by the Al Karouin Mosque in Fez, also in Morocco, although the minaret was based on one in Tunisia. One word of warning though, the mosque serves great food at very reasonable prices, and that seems to have attracted a lot of French tourists. And while we're in Northern Africa, well, it wouldn't be a round the world trip without visiting Egypt. This is the obelisk of Luxor, one of a pair of obelisks that were carved to stand at the entrance of the ancient city. Coincidentally, the other one ended up in Paris, I think. It was involved in an exchange deal where the French sent Egypt a mechanical clock. Unfortunately, when the clock arrived in Egypt, it was faulty. Centuries later, it's still here and still doesn't work. You can genuinely tell the time more accurately with the obelisk. Next up, we're going to Europe, and there's just time for a quick visit to Luxembourg before we arrive in Russia. This is the Holy Trinity Russian Orthodox Cathedral, opened in 2016 by the Minister of Culture, Vladimir Medinsky, and it's a modern take on classic Russian architecture. There's also a cultural centre next door, which is open, in Vladimir's words, to anyone interested in the history of our country, our scientific and cultural accomplishments, and for those who want to learn Russian. Hmm, maybe I should learn Russian. What do you mean I'm not quite bald yet? Okay, only two more countries to go now, and first up, we're back in Asia and we're visiting India. This is the original Indian pavilion from the World Fair of 1878. It was designed by a man called Caspar Purden Clark, who was regarded as an expert in Indian architecture because he'd seen some pictures of it, and he'd also been to Iran and Syria. Can I just apologise to literally the whole of India? And last, but certainly not least, we'll end our world tour in China. This is the enormous Chinagora Hotel and Restaurant, designed by the architect Liang Kunhao and built here in China in 1992. The architect was inspired by the famous forbidden city of Beijing, as you can tell by all the barriers and keep out signs. And that's about it for our round the globe adventure. Please let me know in the comments which countries you enjoyed the most and which ones you found borderline offensive because you're actually from there. Also, if we happen to hit a large subscriber milestone by the time this goes out, then there might just be another viewer challenge coming up based on what you've just seen. Keep your eyes open for that if you want to join in. Meanwhile, thank you for watching this slightly silly video and I will see you soon. Right, how do I get back home? <laughs>